Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Like MRI. And this is a patient who is 51. They had a falling injury several weeks ago, continued right shoulder pain. And they come in with a right shoulder MRI. And we see that the humeral head looks pretty good. The glenoid looks pretty good. The labrum looks a little funny here. The superior labrum, the midline cut about here looks reasonable. But if we go anteriorly, it starts to look a little foggy. And then at this cut, we're out of it. And this is always very difficult, the far anterior margin. Sometimes the uh, biceps and the anterior labrum will split apart and you get this volume averaging artifact. This looks a little foggy, so uh, I hedge on this, but it's going to be a really hard spot. But that is not what this case is about. Uh, along the undersurface here, we see the inferior glenoid rim, and there's a little dark band here coming across. This is part of the inferior joint capsule. At the middle, there's a joint capsule, and there's thickening of the joint capsule anteriorly and posteriorly. Those are called the anterior and inferior bands of the inferior glenohumeral ligament. So this is part of the joint capsule right here. You can see it coming off the glenoid. You see this dark band coming over and it looks like it just ends right there and there's a little bit of fluid in between. So it looks like this is a torn inferior joint capsule. If we march backwards, we don't really see that posterior band, the posterior thick part going in here attaching. So it looks like it's torn from the humeral attachment posteriorly. And at the midsection, if we go anteriorly too, I just don't see this coming over to the humerus. So it looks like a tear of the humeral attachment of the inferior glenohumeral ligaments and the joint capsule. They call this a hagal lesion, humeral avulsion of the inferior glenohumeral ligament. And there's a little bit of fluid in the joint. And that is about it. They also had a little tear of the anterior labrum. Put up another view here so we can see that. On the axial images, now the middle glenohumeral ligament is this little dot right here. This is axial, so that little dot. MJHL goes down, blends with the subscapularis here along the undersurface. That looks intact. Uh, up high, it looks okay. Down here, it blends, looks good. So that is okay, the middle glenohumeral ligament. But now we see a problem deep to that. There's a little bit of gray material here, a little bit of fluid too, and a little bit of brightness here along the anterior scapula. So this looks like the anterior joint capsule is partially torn and stripped from the scapula. Now that anterior capsular periosteal stripping, and that can be associated with a dislocation, and that can be seen with the inferior glenohumeral ligament injury. Now if we go all the way down towards the bottom here, where this looks really foggy, and here's that gray signal. You can see that periosteum is gray, not sharply defined, and the cortex is ill-defined. So again, this looks like a anterior capsular periosteal stripping with a little tear of the anterior inferior labrum and then the tear of the inferior joint capsule and the inferior glenohumeral ligaments. And again, that's that Hegel humeral avulsion of the inferior glenohumeral ligament you guys hear about but hardly ever see. And this is what they look like right here. It comes across, seems to end blindly. It can be really difficult because there's scar tissue and well, it's just difficult shoulders anyway. But thank you very much. Hope you have a great day.